Well, guess what I'm sitting in? I'm sitting in a Bollinger. What's, uh, what's this thing going on sale? This is the, the Bollinger B1. It was just announced back in July. It's an all-electric sport utility truck. It's got a couple different motor options. It's all electric, so there's two, uh, either 60 kilowatt pack or 100 kilowatt pack. The lower one is good for about 120 miles range on a charge, and the, the bigger one, the 100 kilowatt pack, is good for about 200 miles range. You know, I've been looking at this thing. I, I see young people walking by here, absolutely blown out of the water yeah. when they when you open up the front. So take, take, open that up for us. We you? open up? Yeah. Yeah. It's got kind of a unique... Other than this, it's got unique storage capacity and capabilities, but since there's no internal combustion engine, uh, we just uh, had it added for extra storage, and then it's got kind of a unique pass-through. It's about 12 feet with the with the front gate or the, the head gate, whatever you want to call it. There's no word for this. We need a name for this. And the tailgate <laughs> closed, or you can put 16 foot of, of lumber or pipe or skis or whatever whatever you want kind of through the pass-through, but it's, it's really unique, and I think for the type of vehicle this is, it's very utilitarian, but I think uh, it resonates well with a lot of campers, uh, outdoorsmen, people that want to go rock crawling or, or, uh, or off-roading, 4 by 4 that kind of stuff. I think it, it's really resonated with a whole bunch of people uh, beyond just the design, which I think is cool, too. It looks like an old kind of Land Rover, maybe, uh, uh, Defender. Yeah, let's take a look at the side here. I mean, yeah. it, it, has, it has that appeal, I'm sure, to, the, to somebody who really wants to have an open-air ride experience here. I mean, because it, it looks like you can take some of this apart, right? Yeah, oh yeah, everything's reconfigurable. Uh, the seats are flip and fold in the rear. Um, everything is very kind of base utilitarian. The windows come out, the windows slide back and forth, so it's kind of old school with both the design but the functionality. The doors come out just like a Jeep or, or a Land Rover or International Harvester. This half cab comes out if you want to make a half cab out of this and make it into kind of a pickup truck and close this area out or you can leave it all open and it yeah. also has two panoramic glass roofs that you see and those are are separate and they can come out or stay in there's also an aluminum hardtop option for people that might live in phoenix arizona or out here in la that might get a little hot in the greenhouse that way but also the uh the design it's got kind of the three on the tree shifter it's got the old-fashioned prindle it's got the turn gauges uh the, the chrome bezel gauges RPM gauge, it's got a fuel gauge in there that uh, actually there's no fuel, but uh, it's kind of old school the way that they did it just because it's, it's it indicates the charge between full and empty, which is kind of a unique feature. It also has the four wheel locking low and high, uh, two differentials, and the battery packs again are under the seats here, and those are powered through the inverters and they send power to the two motors, the AC135 motors that are at the front and the rear that enables the all time all wheel drive for the system. So, uh, what, what kind of uh, mileage you get on the charge here? So, yeah, uh, we get, there's two different battery pack options. There's a 60 kilowatt battery pack option, and there's a 100 kilowatt battery pack option. The lower one gets about 120 miles range, and the, the bigger one gets about 200 miles range on a charge. You've had some orders or pre-orders already, right? Yep, yep. We Again, we just announced this back in July, July 27th at a small media program. Since then, we've got over 12,000 orders or 12,000 hand raisers. People said they're interested in this. We haven't announced a price yet. We won't for a couple more weeks. Uh, but once we do, we'll start taking deposits, and then we'll open up the order book, and people can start ordering them. We'll start building them, and uh, deliveries are slated for late 2019 or early 2020. Okay. The name Bollinger, where does that come from? <laughs> it comes from our owner and founder, Robert Bollinger. He's uh, an, industrial, an industrial designer by trade. He went to Carnegie Mellon and was always kind of a, I guess, a frustrated car designer, right? He always wanted to build this and ended up coming with some financial resources to do it. And he lived up on a farm up in the Catskills area of New York. And uh, he had an old, I think, a Silverado 2500 that was getting stuck in the snow and the mud and couldn't do the things that he needed to do to run his farm and plow the roads like he was doing and thought if nobody else was going to make a truck, I'm going to. So this is what he came up with. We got a Bollinger. And we got a Bollinger B1. That's what it's called. <laughs> well, congratulations. It's a real hoot. and <laughs> it's, uh, it's new, but it's a throwback. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure it's going to have a broad appeal, from what I can see. Definitely. And definitely. Uh, good luck, and uh, we'll see you in the future. Great. Thanks. Appreciate right. it. Okay.